profit and loss appropriation account. Appropriation is to set aside, distribute, profit and loss appropriation account. <clears throat> we had already discussed trading account and profit and loss account in case of sole proprietorship in another module. In a partnership, once we have arrived at the amount of net profit, this profit, net profit has to be distributed among the partners. This is done through the profit and loss appropriation account. In a partnership too, we would make a trading account and arrive at what is called the gross profit. Then we would make a profit and loss account and arrive at a net profit. Now this net profit would be distributed to the partners. In what ratio? Not only that interest on capital may be paid, salaries may be paid to some of the partners and so on and so forth. That the distribution of profits is shown through the profit and loss appropriation of account and then we form the balance sheet so final accounts of a partnership for trading profit and loss account the last section the lowermost section of the income statement is the profit and loss appropriation in case of a partnership showing how the net profit earned is distributed to abc to the different partners and then of course balance sheet An example, in the books of Ramesh and Suresh, let's say they were two partners, trading and profit and loss account for the year ended. So we have a trading account where you have opening stock, purchases, all direct expenses. We have sales less returns to arrive at what is called the gross profit. The gross profit is brought down to this the second section. This is called actually the profit and loss account. Gross profit, any other income and all other expenses, operating expenses, salaries, electricity, telephone, carriage outward, etc. And we get a net profit. This net profit is brought down and look at this section. This section is our profit and loss appropriation account. Just like this is profit and loss, this is trading. So we have a profit and loss appropriation account. The net profit of 40,000, how is this distributed? We are going to give interest on capital. So Ramesh and Suresh's partners must have agreed to share, uh, have, must have agreed to an interest on capital. So they get an interest on capital. Ramesh gets 1,200, Suresh gets 2,800. So out of 40,000, 1,200 goes to Ramesh as interest on capital, whereas 2,800 goes to Suresh. 1,200 goes to Ramesh and 2,800 goes to Suresh. Ramesh is also entitled to a salary of 2,000. On the other hand, we asked Ramesh and Suresh to pay interest on drawings and they have given 800 and 200,000. So now there is a total of 41,000 here and <clears throat> we have given Ramesh 1,200 on account of interest on capital. We have given Ramesh 2,000 as salaries and his share of profit as 17,500. On the other hand, Suresh gets 2,800 and salaries of and uh, profits of a share in the profit of 17,500. That is how the entire amount of 41,000 is distributed. 41,000 goes to Suresh and it goes to Ramesh. 41,000, this is 40,000 net profit plus interest on drawings. <coughs> Suresh gets 2,800, 1,200 interest on capital. Ramesh gets a salary of 2,000, 
and Ramesh gets profit of 17,500. Suresh also gets 17,500. This is how Sorry, this is 7. Twenty seven hundred, twenty three hundred, adding up to 41,000. This is how profits are distributed between Suresh and Ramesh. So the profit and loss appropriation account is the account which shows how the profit is being shared, is being distributed among the partners in the form of salary, commission, interest on capital, interest on drawings, etc, etc, etc. What are the accounting entries? Since we've seen the profit and loss appropriation account, in case of partner salary, we say profit and loss appropriation account debit to A's capital account, B's capital account, C's capital account, whatever. Partner's salary, profit and loss appropriation account debit to capital account. For interest on capital again, it is an interest which has to be paid by the partnership firm. So profit and loss appropriation account debit to A's capital, B's capital, C's capital, whoever is entitled to the interest on capital. Interest on drawings becomes an income for the partnership firm because the partners have withdrawn money and the partnership firm is charging an interest on such withdrawal. So this becomes the profit and loss appropriation account is credited, becomes an income for the firm depending on who is charged A's capital, B's capital. So partner's capital account is debited and the profit and loss appropriation account credited for interest on drawings. Whatever balance remains goes to the partner's capital accounts in the agreed profit sharing ratio. So here it's profit and loss appropriation account debit to A's capital to B's capital. <clears throat> 